This is Poker Hall of Famer Elke Gropelier. He is marching his way to his first WPT title. Elke has over 60% of chips in play and shows no signs of slowing down. Can his fellow pros Nam Lee, Odie Darden, or Nanad Medic crawl back into the conversation with a double up? Here's Mike Sexton and Vince Van Patten to tell the history of this potential French celebration. These will start at 15,000 blinds, a 60 and 120,000. The winner is going to take home over 1.4 million. Well, one of those guys are going to have to start getting lucky and forcing the action a lot more than we've seen if they're going to take this title away from Elkie tonight. Let's go to the felt, and the non medic has a pair of sixes here. All in. WPT champion says all in. Well, he's on the short stack here. You can't blame him for moving in here with a pair. Now, Odie Darden with yeah. an ace nine. He's going to muck it. Uh, I think I have to call him, I guess. All right. And Elke says, all right, he's got so many chips, why not? Yep. He calls him with the King Jack. We've got the race situation, the two over cards versus the under pair. And for Nanad Medic's dreams of being a multiple WPT champion tonight to stay alive, he's got to win this race. Yes, he does, but he has to do it against the Frenchman Elke. Straight, please. Mr. Lucky Straight. Pierre so far. Six. Will he continue to get lucky? Oh. Five cards to come here. Well, here comes the flop. It's come oh. Jack 9-3. He did it again. Elke now out oh. in front. Oh, and you see the sadness in the face and the nod. He knows he's going to have to catch a six now to stay alive in this tournament. Turn card coming up. Can he catch a six? Not there. No, nope, but deuce comes off. So for the nod medic to stay alive in this tournament, he must catch a six. Otherwise, he'll be heading back down Route 66. The nod medic one card away from calling a medic. Can he get lucky on the river? No. Five of hearts comes off. Well, there you go. Elke Grosspellier increasing his chip lead and WPT champ Nanad Medic out in fourth place. Oh, yes, poof, he is gone. He is dead man walking. Nanad's going to pick up 373,000 for his efforts. But right now, he has to go where the tears and the beers flow, the bar. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Action's going to Odie Darden. Great competitor, professional player. He's going out. And Elke, our chip leader with just a 6-3. Vince, why does the guy even bother looking at his cards? Just raise it. That's what he's doing every time anyway. 375,000. But Nam has picked up two eights in the big blind. Come on. And he says all in. Elke can't stand the heat and mucks his hand. So the WPT champ, Nam Lee, starting to make his move, Vince, to get back in this thing. He's coming back. He's got great heart. Fifth time at the WPT final table. Going after his second title here tonight. All right. Back to the action. Three players left. Fighting it out for over 1.4 million. Action's on Nam Lee. He lays down a 10-9. Odie Darden with a queen jack. All in. Well, he's going all in. Yep. And that chip leader, Elke Grosspellier. There's an ace for an right, suit. And he says, I call. Oh, what a good one it is. He's out in front. So here we go. We need paint. <laughs> yeah, Odie paint. calling for paint. I need somebody here. Say paint. And that means picture cards for those of you that may not know. This is it. This is it. I need queens or jacks. Well, Odie's a bit of an underdog at this point. What a nice call by the Frenchman. But you can't blame Odie for going all in there with the queen jack. He says, this is the one I've been waiting on. Here come the first three. Everybody on their feet. Oh. Jack right in the door. It's come King Jack six. Oh, slow down. Slow down. We need two more. Hey, can we stop it there? <laughs> he asked for pain. He got it, Vince. He's now out in front. Elke's going to have to catch an ace. Two runners to make a straight or two running fours to win this pot. Well, a 10 comes off. Now, that means a queen would give Elke a straight. An ace won't help him anymore because that would give Odie an ace high straight. So the only way 
that Elke can win this pot is to catch a queen to make an ace high straight. Will the Frenchman give him a bad beat? Here comes the river. It's a three. So there you see some emotion out of the man from West Covina, California, Odie Darden. Doubling up here. <laughs> Double up time. Double up time. <laughs> He's got a contingent of friends and fans and uh, poker groupies. By the way, Nam, were you rooting for me? Be honest. Really? <laughs> so are we going to keep hearing all in, all in? Or are we done with that all in? All of a sudden, Odie's getting talking chips, Vince. <laughs> You're right. Just now. enjoying the moment. We could just play a little more, that's all it is. Yeah, you know, he said he's a competitor. He grew up to the ranks of the restaurant business and the computer business, and then he said, the heck with that, I'm going after the poker business. And that's what he does now, he's a poker pro. All right, it's on Elke, the Frenchman, taking his first hit here tonight. This time looking down at a nine deuce off suit. Well, Vince, it's pretty obvious right now. He's just raising with any two cars, no sense in even looking at him. But Nam Lee behind him with ace 10. One million. He's coming right over the top of him, as he should with this hand. Very aware that Elkie's raising every hand and that this hand figures to be a favorite over him. Got to punish the chip leader when you can, and he's going to do so there. Going back-to-back -back pots, both of the short stack players. One's doubled up, one's taking a little chink out of the chip leader stack, Vince. Could the tide be turning here? It's a long shot, but they're getting back at him. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. As you can see, it's the Frenchman, Elke Gospelier, with 8.1 million, but it's getting close here, Mike. It sure is, Vince. You can definitely feel a new atmosphere at this final table. It was a one-man domination show, but right now the other two players are chipping away at Elke Gospelier. Elke now with the button with a jack. Eight has raised. Made it 360,000. Nam going out. And Odie looks down at a queen eight offsuit the kind of hand you're crazy about when the guy raises, but when Elke raises, it just sort of you shrug it off, I guess, because he raises every single hand. It's going to cost him another 200000 to make the call here. Well, he is starting to believe now. You can just sense it. You're he's, right, Vince. He's gambling out of position here with the Queen-8 offsuit. Body language. Oh, and what a good decision Whoa. as it comes. Queen-7-3. Odie has top Check. pair and is now well out front. Well, he's checked it. I'm going to try to trap here a little bit. Uh, Vince, this is the guy to trap against because he bets all the time. So when you hit a hand on the flop, why not check it and let this guy bet? That's exactly what Odie's done. 460,000 is the bet. And now off to acting school goes Odie. Now it's like twiddly D, twiddly da. Oh, do I really want to play this hand or not? A flop top pair. Why not? Let's gamble. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there it is, the raise, and a healthy raise it is, of 1.4 million more. Obviously, Elke cannot stand the heat. Since he has nothing, he lays his hand down. Oh, wow. Well, he shows everybody the Queen 8 off suit. You hate it when players show their hands too many times. You think a pro like, oh, he's making a mistake, Mike. Well, maybe it came back to Han Elke. He kept showing all those three twos and ten twos when he was bluffing. And now he's got Odie calling raises with queen eights and all the rest. How do you spell tilt? Right now, Odie is happier than a cheapskate at a 99 cent store. <laughs> he's pecked his way back in here. Well, Vince, with that pot, Odie Darden has come with a million dollars of the chip leader, Elke Grosspayer. And a while back, there were all at least 10 million behind the guy. All right, back to the table. Right back on Odie Darden. Very colorful character in the poker world. Poker professional, and this time with a button, he's picked up ace 10. And he is having a ball here right now. Picks up a nice hand here on the button in a three-handed game, ace 10. Let's see what he's going to do with it. He's won a few pots in a row. He is feeling good right now, so why not pop it up? Makes it 400,000 to go. Now, Elke behind him has got a wired pair of fours here. And is just going to call the 400,000. Wants to see a flop. That's a switch. Early on, he would be pumping these pots. Nam going out. Well, Nam sees these two are contesting a lot of pots now. Just going to get out of their way and let them fight it out. Here comes that flop. Well, it's come ace, queen, five with two diamonds. 
Elke checks the two fours and Odie checks the two aces. Yep. Well, Vance, we saw him check top pair a minute ago when his opponent checked. He's done it again, and he's doing it again on the turn as the seven of hearts comes off. Again, it goes check, check. Now the board pair of sevens. What patience by Odie, the double check. River card came up a seven, paired the board, and now Elkie's going to take a stab. Well, Vance, it's a mild stab. He bets 160000 a minimum bet possible, the size of the big blind, into a pot that's got a million dollars in it. And look at Odie going back to the acting, grimacing a little bit, but then sticking out some more money, an additional 700000 it looks like. Elkie's going to pay him off, Vance. Wow. Well, he just didn't think he had the aces there because he checked on the flop and the turn, so he paid him off on the river. <laughs> and with that pot, for the first time tonight at this final table, we have a new chip oh. leader, Vance. It is OD time. It's party time at Bellagio. Stay with us. Three players remaining going after over 1.4 million here on the World Poker Tour. Wasn't that long ago that this guy right here, Elke Gross PA, had nearly a $12 million chip lead on both his opponents. Elkie has raised with King Four to make it 360 to go. Man and Lee goes out. Yeah, and Odie Darden with a four, five of diamonds. Very seductive little hand. Well, it's the kind of hand you like to see flops with, Vince. And right now, looks like Odie's starting to run good, as we say. So why not take a chance, take a look at a flop here with this hand, and that's what he's doing. Calls a $200,000 raise. Well, when you call with this kind of junk, sometimes you can break a player if you hit properly. Well, it's come 9 5 3. Odie has taken the lead with the two fives. He checks. Elkie checks the king high right behind him. Oh, and a king comes on the turn. That was the only card that Elkie could take the lead with, and he hit it. Well, again, Odie checks. Now Elkie is reaching for chips, and why not? He's got the best hand. Yeah, it's been some time since he's connected, and this time he finally does. A $460,000 bet here, Mike. Well, Odie has got himself in a quagmire now, Vince. He's got two fives. His opponent's got two kings, but he's making the call. Yeah, he doesn't believe Elkie. This time Odie is incorrect. River card coming up. Odie needs a five to win this pot. He doesn't get it as the seven comes off. So again, Odie checks. What's Elke going to do now? Got to feel like his two kings are the best hand. How much to bet? That's the question. There's nearly 1.8 million in the pot. And look at this, Vince. He is betting almost a million. Looks like 960,000. Oh, that is a hefty bet. 960. Let's look at this. If Odie makes this call, which he's doing, his chip lead that he had a moment ago is now gone. Yep. Elke has reclaimed it with Easy the two call. kings. Easy call. Nice. You get a change it. You live by the sword, die by the sword, because obviously Odie plays this kind of style. He likes to check a lot of hands when he feels like he's out in front. That time, for the first time here tonight, it backfires. Well, you're right, Vance. Had he let out and bet the flop, chances are he'd have won that pot instead of lost it. Elke back in front and now looks down at a pair of jacks yep. on the button. And here comes some raisin chips. Yep, he's going to make it 360 to go. Nam Lee going out. But Odie Darden's got a pretty respectable ace deuce of spades. Well, it's pretty respectable most of the time when you're up against Elke, but not this time as Elkie's got the two jacks. But Odie's going to make the call. And these two guys are like dueling banjos right now, Vance, and pretty soon one of them's going to break a string. Flop comes king, 10-3. Odie checks, and right behind him, Elkie checks the two jacks. Now a 10 comes off. Well, again, it goes check, check. Elke just not wanting to fall into a trap here of getting check raised out of this pot. Now the board pairs threes. So now Odie is playing two pair with an ace kicker. Probably thinks that's the best hand, the way the betting's gone here. He's going to check, though. Well, but no more checking. 
Elke now reaching for chips, and he is going to bet 860,000. I'm telling you, it's not going to shock me if Odie makes this call, because the way the betting is gone, meaning it's been checked and checked until the river, he could well think his ace high is the best hand here. And even if his opponent's got an ace in his hand, they would split this pot. Well, this would be a good lay down if he could get away from this hand. Otherwise, the party that we just saw for Odie has disappeared very quickly. I mean, he became the chip leader, all confident, so close to that 1.4 million. And look at this, he's going to make the bad call. Well, he does make the call, Vance, and once again, oh. because he was calling instead of betting, he got himself in trouble. So momentum switching back to the Frenchman, the young 27-year-old. Used to be a professional video gamer. He's won over $2 million on the European Poker Tour. This guy's amazing. Well, as quickly as this confidence may have been cracked when he lost the chip lead, his confidence has come back, Vince, because once again, Elke Grosspayet in the lead. And it's on him to act. He's got ace four this time. Starting to pick up some cards, going to raise it, making it 360,000 to go. Well, Nam Lee throws away an ace six. Even though it's the best hand, he sees these two guys are clashing about every pot. So just get out of the way and let one of them burn. Odie Darden now with a four nine of spades. Not much of a hand, but he's in the big blind. Now look at this, Vance. He's going to make the call here. Call. He could be spiraling out of control pretty quick. He is turning into Uncle Tilty in a hurry. Here's the flop. Can he get lucky on this? Well, the flop comes 10-10 deuce. No help to either player. Elke out in front with the ace high. Action is on Odie. Vance, look at this. He is reaching for chips here. Mm. Now this is completely out of character for him. Don't forget, he checks his big hands, his good hands. 550. Well, he's going to bet 550,000 here. And if you're sitting in Elke's seat, folks, there's no way on earth that you're going to put him on a 10 here. You're saying to yourself, why is this guy betting now? He knows I bet every time. If he had a hand, wouldn't he check raise me here? Now we are watching Odie implode here before our very eyes. He gets a good call by the Frenchman. I think Elke has figured it out perfectly, Vince, to tell you the truth. Now the deuce comes off. I know Elke thinks there's no chance he's got a 10. He could have a deuce in his hand. But chances are... He just thinks Odie's got nothing. But let's see how the betting goes here. One point Don't four. make it worse. And yes, he is. This is an avalanche. 1.4 million is the bet. He's just pushing when he shouldn't. Still a lot of money, though. Okay, he's on to it. You can just tell the Frenchman knows this guy's trying to take this pot. Oh, that's but the guy's just not going to bet if he had a full house no, here. No, he wouldn't have. You know, you're going to try to trap your opponent into bluffing the pot or betting if you have nothing. Or if you have another pair, if you had a full house in this situation. And Vince, take a look at Odie. He's trying to look strong here. And as you know in poker, when a guy looks strong, usually he's weak. When he looks weak and whistling and turning his head the other way, usually he's strong. Let's see if Elke can figure that out here. I'm all in. Well, he sure did figure it out. He went all in. What the heck? He's not going to give his opponent any chance to catch a card that could beat him here. I think he just thinks he's got the best hand, and he's just going to set him all in and find out. Well, there you go. He shows him the ace high. Cody says, uh-huh, you thought you were bluffing me? Yeah, well, you weren't, my friend. You had the best hand. Yeah, it was just a complete implosion for Odie Darden. The chips go back down. to the Frenchman, Elke. He commands the lead here at the Festa El Lago. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? on WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake.
No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Well, right now it's looking like Elke Grosspayer from France. He's got 11.4 million. Odie Darden in second place with 2.8 million. WPT champ Nam Lee in third place with 2.3 million. We've been playing for five days straight. Action's going to Elke the Frenchman. He's got a queen seven this time. He's got the computer hand, as we call it, a queen seven offsuit. Raises it up, of course, makes it 360,000 to go. On his left, Nam Lee with a queen jack. 780. Oh, a nice re-raise by Nam Lee here with the queen jack. Makes it 780,000. But Odie with a pair of fours behind him. I'm all in. Odie says all in with this. Wow. And Elke quickly folding, and now it's on Nam. Well, Vince Nam Lee only has about a million and a half left. Has a queen jack. A lot of money in this pot, nearly four million. Odie, just a completely different game. He has completely shifted gears. It's a hand you didn't have to get involved in. You could have just sat back with the two fours and hope the guy goes out. We can move up over 400,000 in real money and have a shot at this title, but not Odie. Odie was playing so tight in the beginning, but he's opened it up. Very deceiving player. Now, will this work? You got it. Well, Nam Lee is going to lay down the Queen Jack. Yeah, it's going to work for Odie. So a nice all-in bet ready? there by Odie. Come on, baby. Had a monster. Well, Nam begging to see his hand, but Odie not giving him that satisfaction. Do you have a pair? Good form. If you had a pair, it's a bad sold for me. Good form. A little pep in his step right there. Back to the action on the chip leader. Elke Grosbeyer looks down at Doyle Brunson's hand, the 10 do suited. That hand named after Doyle Brunson, the legend in the poker world, because he won two world titles back to back, holding a 10 and a deuce in his hand. Well, he's made it 330,000 ago. Namely has gone out. Now Odie has an ace jack. I mean, it's this time Odie's got a nice hand against Elke. I think you just have to come over the top of him right away. Don't want to get out flopped or outplayed by the guy. I raise. That's what he's doing, Vince. Big jump in prize money between third place and second. Nearly 440,000. But that doesn't stop Odie from raising it here with the ace jack. Yep, he's counting on his chips. How much to raise? He's got a quality hand here. Well, there's the raise, 800,000 more. Now, what does the professional video gamer do at a time like this? Oh, 27 man. years old, he goes all in. Well, Vance, I'll tell you why he's doing that. He just thinks Odie oh, might throw this hand away. That's a move. I call. But no way. Odie is gambling. He's going to call with the ace jack. Then do ace jack. Oh, yeah. Oh, Odie is thinking about winning this thing, man. He's gambling here with the I know it's a move. Yeah, it's great because Odie said that's a move. He put his money where his mouth Ace. was. I know it's a move. But don't get out the shot One glasses just yet, that Odie. Was so sweet. Well, Vance, what a pot this is. There's 7.8 million in this pot. If Odie wins it, <laughs> him and Elke will be about tied for the I chip lead. And if Elke, of course, wins it, we'll be down to heads up play. Elke would have a monstrous chip lead. Oh, boy. There's Gus Hansen, the winningest player in the history of the World Poker Tour. He's come out of the route for his buddy Elke. And so far he's done well. It's come nine, four, deuce. Elke has gone out in front with two deuces. Elke gets a piece of that. Well, there's all spades out there. Odie has the ace of spades, so he now has a flush draw. He can win the pot with a spade. He'll take the lead with an ace or a jack. Almost a coin flip at this point. Odie was just a slight favorite. Here's the turn card. Oh, nine of diamonds comes up. And with that card, that means a four will win the pot for Odie as well. So he can win it with a spade, an ace, a jack, or a four. Odie got this tournament through a $300 satellite. The dream of becoming a WTT champion. Now on the line, coming down to this river card. Oh, it's a three of hearts. Well, there it is. It's all smile for Elke. Odie Darden out in third place. But Vince in that last pot, he was confident he had the best hand when the money went in. Indeed he did. Just got unlucky there to get outdrawn.
So the very colorful Odie Darden. He is fun to watch. He's going to pick up 506000 here tonight. Got in this tournament on a $300 satellite, cashing out over a half a million. Nam Lee is hoping to pull out a miracle and take down his second WPT title. You're right, Vance. A miracle is exactly what Nam needs. He's facing an uphill battle against the French pro who has dominated this final table. Elke Grosperier has knocked out all the other players, and now he's gunning for Nam. Elke wants to pitch that perfect game and take this title down, but Nam is one of the greats. Very tricky. Well, Nam could make a little poker history tonight if he could win, as Elke has a 15-1 to chip lead, one of the largest leads we've ever seen going into heads-up action here on the World Poker Tour. Nam Lee, Morning. WPT champion, goes all in the very first hand with Ace Jack. Call him, call him. Well, Elkie's going to call him. He gets a three in his hand. He likes to play. He says that's his favorite number. And Nam Lee is going to have to double up on numerous occasions to take this title, but very capable of doing so. No question about it. Right now, he's well out in front with Ace Jack, up against Queen Three. Here comes a flop. Well, it's come 10, 9, 8. So no longer does Nam Lee want a jack to come up there because that would give his opponent a straight. Nam Lee, a WPT champion, going after his second title with a big chance of doubling up right now unless something ridiculous happens. He just didn't want to see a jack or a three. That's all they can lose to. Okay. card. Well, that's a four. So we're down to the river. Nam Lee will double up and keep his hopes of capturing a second WPT title alive if he can just dodge a jack three or a three on the river. Unless something silly happens, then we'll have a new champion, a Frenchman, Elkie. Here's the river card. Well, the five of diamonds comes off. So round one, going to WPT champ, Nam Lee. Yes, he cool. collects the chips. He's been here before. He's the kind of guy that can make a comeback. Really happen, Nam Lee, one of the greats. Of course, Elke would join two players who have won a WPT title and a European Poker Tour title. That's Roland the Wolf and Gavin Griffin. Come on in. Look at this. Elke has picked up 6-3, says all in with that mess of a hand. He's trying to push Nam Lee out, but Nam has got a pair of deuces here. Vince, normally you hate to call an all-in bet with just two deuces, knowing your opponent is going to have two overcards, but he with this kind care. of chip count, he knows he's got to make things happen to double up and get some chips. So he's going to gamble with the two ducks. He makes the call, and we have a race situation again. And this pot's got $3.7 million in it. The but here we go. Well, it's come ace, ace, eight. Nam Lee still out in front with aces and deuces. Elke looking for a six or a three to take the lead. And eight would also give him the lead, but... I don't know for how long. All right, well, Nam has got to sweat. Nevertheless, here's the turn card. Well, a king comes off. Now, the only way Elke can win the pot is to catch a six or a three. If a king or an eight comes up, oh, it six. would be a split pot. Hey. Coming down to the river, WPT champion Nam Lee with some hope here. Everybody on their feet. Could Nam Lee double up in back-to-back -back pots? Yes, the queen comes off. And Nam Lee's fans are now Starting to believe, Vance. Remember, in our WPT Championship event last year, Gus Hansen, who's in the house now, had a big chip lead, nearly six to one, over David Chu. But David came back to win that title. Could Nam Lee come back from a 15 to one chip deficit and take down the title? That would be unbelievable. Well, the Frenchman's baguette starting to get a little stale here. Back down to the felt we go. Nam Lee on a little rush here. Takes a peek at his cards that he's got a good one. Ace Queen. Well, Vince, if he could double up one more time, they'd be pretty close in chip count. Look at this, Vince. He's just going to limp in and make the call with Ace Queen. Trying to trap his opponent, oh. but be careful what you wish for. His opponent's got him beat with two tens. He's got a real hand. And Elke raised it to 700,000. Well, Vince, I just can't imagine that you would just call here with an ace queen against this kind of player. Well, you call to re-raise in case the guy did what he did. So you got to think he's going to push it, I and he is. He is going to win. Well, he's going to be quickly called by Elke here. And we have a race situation, but certainly you can't fold either player for getting their money in with this hand. They both have legitimate hands. The question is now, who's going to get lucky? If Nam Lee wins this pot, we'll be pretty close in chip count. If Elke's 210 stand up, he will be our WPT champion and the 98 
WPT Poker Made Millionaire. What an opportunity for the Frenchman. Elke Grosbalier, 27 years old, has never made a final table on the WPT. A chance of a lifetime with five cards to come. Oh, a 10 right in the door. You saw Elke jump right out of his boots. He saw the 10. He knows the only way that Namley can win this pot now is to catch two running cards to make a straight. A king and a jack would give him a win. If it comes an eight and a nine, it would be a split pot. Nine jack. Namley realizes his fate of becoming a two-time WPT champion just going out the window. Here's the turn card. Well, it's a nine card. That gives Nam some hope. Yeah. If an eight comes off, this would be a split pot. Namley cannot win the pot. He could split it if an eight comes up. And right now, Namley is hoping for an eight ball in the corner pocket. Ace. 1.4 million on the line here at Bellagio. Well, a king comes off. That's going to do it. Elke Gross Perrier came to this final table as our chip leader. And Vince, you got to say, he deserved this victory. As aggressive as he was at this final table, tip your hat to the guy. WPT champion Nam Lee.